the phone rings on the other end of the phone when I pick it up it's the purchasing agent that I deal with from coherent lasers real company and this is a real story now on the other end this purchasing agent tells me we have a new president who's come into the company and he's asked all the buyers to go out and ask for a 15% reduction in cost for all goods purchased, meaning go to all the vendors and ask them to drop their prices by 15% across the board. Boom. I'm like, 15%? I mean, we're already working hard for you. We're increasing our productivity. We're doing more jobs. And he's a Titan. It's just as simple as this, 15%. So I get off the phone. I call up the owner of the company. I was general manager of this machine shop. And the owner comes in and I say, hey, I just talked to Coherent Lasers and they want a 15% decrease in price across the board on all parts. The owner picks up a calculator makes some calculations and he looks at me and he says titan they're asking for me to give them a house i want to give a house to my kids i don't want to give a house to them and i look at him and i said a house and he said yeah you know they're asking for five hundred thousand dollars that is a house that i could purchase for my kids there's no way that we're going to drop prices across the board. That is not fair that they're asking us. We can look at certain things, but there's, there's no way. So the answer is no. Now, let me give you some backstory. This is probably three years after I entered this company. When I started at the company, I had come in, I had interviewed, and I looked around and there were no CNC machines. It was all manual machines. That's where I met the famous Jeff Weaver, for those that know the story. So it was all manual machines. They did a bunch of coherent work and just different types of work. They had contract workers that would come in, they would work on a bridge port or a prototrack track or whatever it was, and they would do contract work. So they do a part in this amount of time and they get paid a set fee, okay? Now, that wasn't working anymore because the whole world had gone to CNC machining and all the prices were coming down based on the parts now being run on a more efficient platform, which was CNC machining. But they hadn't made that move. So the owner looked at me and said, do you know how to program CNCs? Oh, absolutely. Can you help us move into that market and change our entire shop? Absolutely. So I went in there. Basically, we bought two machines, then three, four, five, did all the programs, did all the setups, did the inspection, did all of it, and basically took all of the coherent parts, reprogrammed them, and it was, it was like, if it took 100 minutes, we were doing them in 15 minutes on a CNC machine. It's just a more efficient process. So I talked to the owner about this 15% reduction. I'm like, we are making a killing. Ever since you went to CNC machining, we're making a killing. Across the board, we could easily, like we could give them a 40% discount and we would still be good on many parts. So if you just say across the board on everything, 15%, boom, I think we can do it. And he said, absolutely not. We're not gonna do it. I'll have a talk with them later. So I had to go back on. I talked to Coherent. I said, hey, we can't do it across the board, but we will look at different things. I know that um, the owner is going to call you guys, and I'm just going to keep plugging away and delivering parts and all of that. Well, guess what? All of a sudden, we were reworking parts that we used to make, and they were coming from Malaysia. They got outsourced a whole bunch of the parts it was just a decision from the top. It's like, if they're not gonna, if they're not gonna work with us, if they're not gonna give us that discount, then basically we're gonna take all this work, we're gonna put it 
<laughs> some place where we can get it cheap because we need to lower our costs on our products, our end use products. And we need to work with somebody that is just willing to work with us. And we weren't, and therefore now they're being made in Malaysia. That is a whole nother story. That was a nightmare, getting all of these parts back. Just the fingerprints, the, just the things that take place in certain shops that don't have temperature controlled or the right machines or the right training. So we ended up just reworking a bunch of parts. But I don't want to go into that. The moral of the story is this. That was a powerful lesson for myself. Because a year later, I went out into business for myself. And my attitude was completely different. My attitude was, let me see the part. All I care about is running all of my machines all the time at a set rate. So I will work my hardest to actually decrease the times that it takes to actually produce those parts. And I will constantly give you the savings. So if I have a day shift and a night shift, I'd rather have a partnership with my customer where I'm able to run all my machines all the time instead of running them half the time because my prices are too high on certain products. So I created crazy partnerships. I dedicated myself to serving. I was willing to get up at two in the morning and go into the shop and make parts if I had to. No matter what was needed, I was there to solve that problem. And that is the foundation that we built Titans of CNC on. Everything we do is about service. It's about serving you. It's about serving our industry, bringing awareness, bringing education, and just solving problems. If you solve people's problems, you will do good in life. Ah, uh, CNC machining, crazy story. So what do you think? I'd love to hear your answers. What do you think? Should we have given the 15%? Did we do the right thing? Like, what is your opinion on it? Now, manufacturing has been outsourced. It has been gutted in all countries, not just the USA, but all countries. If you're in Australia, you've lost your work to China. If you're in the UK, you've lost your work. No matter where you're at, you've probably lost your work. And that means that certain people don't have opportunities to take care of their families. And this is a serious, serious problem. Now, Again, that's one of the reasons we have Titans of CNC because we're constantly teaching you how to be efficient, how to run fast, how to make money so you can take care of your customers and make money. Uh, all right, please subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell, boom, so when you know when new videos come up. I love you guys, love this trade, boom, I'm out.